Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Cloud 2. Um, I did a bunch of grinding after the last episode. Uh, I basically just did some Island Fairy Village, like, let's see, there's 20 enemies each time. I beat it once on camera, so I did it 13 times? My math is right? I did a lot. Um, just leveling Monica's sword over and over and over again. Uh, instead of going to Curse Mask, where we're going to be going next, I remember there is something I want to get. I think you have to go here to get it. So we're going to go this way first. Also, we'll get a med medal for beating everybody with Monica's sword, which should be nice and easy. Now that I spent all this time grinding her sword up. So, uh, first thing I need to show you off is weapons. Uh, let me start my inventory real quick. Um, so we've got, I got a Kubera's hand from a treasure chest. It's the stealing hammer, I think. So I might not use the turtle shell armor. I didn't go and like add notes for Max's weapons to my notes on the side of the screen yet. So I, I, I'll deal with that in another point. I got a bunch of guns out of chests. I'll, uh deal with those at some point. I think I got a trumpet gun and a bell chip in the chest, so one of these I have to sell. I got a bunch of bone rapies out of the chest. This one I still haven't sold. Um, let's see. Gradius is actually ready to build up as soon as I can get some beasts. Uh, and you'll see the biggest reason I stopped is I just like run out of um, crystals. I straight out of beast crystals and like every single one of Monica's weapons wants beast crystals or some shit, so. That's why we're, we're in the position we're in. So, Gradius, if I can get Beast to 14, which means I need 300 crystals, you'll upgrade to the Cliff Knife, which is something I did before, but I think I did it on camera. It was to get uh, Malayne to get on the train. It was her quest. You had to upgrade Gradius twice. Um, so, once I do get it to Cliff Knife, all it needs is Beast 14 team to get the cliff knife and it needs attack of 31 to get sandbreaker which i think upgrading to a cliff knife will give all its stats like plus 10 percent or something so the attack should go up to past 31 so i can just auto upgrade it to sandbreaker as well so as soon as i get beast crystals gladius is done um i upgraded one of the uh broadswords i think it was yeah, I think it was a broadsword to a kitchen knife, and now I'm going to upgrade it to a super slicer. I just I wanted to make sure you could see what the kitchen knife was. It's a butcher's knife, and now it's a serpent slicer. And serpent slicer, we're going to be upgrading... It's going to be lightning and smash. The lightning scale, yeah, this one. All these stats, attack needs to go to 80, the other two go to 90, and then I can upgrade on that path. Um... I might use this just to get it the points because I can get it by the scale. I have those crystals. Um, this is our Drain Seeker. It was our um, Evil Eyes, Evil Size, whatever it was called. Uh, the Bone Rapier Path is now it's Drain Seeker. Um, I think I stopped because I like. Yeah, I have no reason why I stopped doing that one. I can, I can upgrade this one actually. And I think this one... No, it doesn't. Okay. Um... It must be this one that I have, right? Yeah. you see in the top right of your screen there, I'll try and end in the camera so it's a better... See those three little dots beside the uh, Serpent Slicer's icon? That means that this weapon can absorb magic. Um, I meant to record the tutorial, but I wasn't paying that close attention and, and I didn't get it. I'm sorry. Anyway. What happens is, um, I was blocking Gemron's spitting attacks, and if you block them, eventually you just get a tutorial that says, Hey, you learn how to absorb magic with this weapon. And what happens is those three dots in the corner will fill up with an element when you block it. So if you block wind Gemron's, it fills up with a wind, so a little green dot. And then if you get all three filled up, I mean, you don't have to fill up all three. What you do is while blocking, you hit L1, and you do a, uh, release of all the magic in the sword, which... It's really strong and really good, like, addition to Monica's new set. Um, I thought... 
I guess it's just like a thing. You just have to block enough magic with them or something? I don't know. Uh, and this is the chopper. I don't know to look at it, sorry. Um, the chopper was built up to the Kura, and once I get more lightning and exorcism crystals, I can build it up to the next uh, thing. She needs like small sword or something. It needs like. It looks like it's easy here, it actually needs like a lot of things. It needs lightning and cyclone, uh, which cyclone is done. And then it needs exorcism. Smash. No, not smash. Scale or something? Something else 54. Maybe Cyclone. I think Cyclone, Exorcism. Huh. Oh, Beast and Scale, I think is what it is. Lightning, Exorcism, Cyclone, Beast, and Scale. So all the things that it has points in. It needs to know at 54, which it just so happens getting it to. Cora would involve getting Cyclone Scale and Beast that high, so those requirements are already met. Um, the last one is the other long sword or broadsword of it. It's built up to the Sax, which is going to go on this path, but I need more Exorcism and Beast. And you see that I'm like straight up with Exorcism and Beast. I have some Lightning and some Sea Dragon, which I think some things need. But um, this is probably Monica's strongest weapon right now. Let's see, but status. This is 55, 59, 52, 30, 43. So this is our strongest, but I'm going to go with the Serpent Slicer just because I have the things to build it up because I'm just putting in lightning and scale, right? So I have some lightning and scale. I don't have enough, I don't think. I need them both at 90. So I need like 30. Of points in this, which means I need three more secret crystals, and then I need 15. Like I need like another seven lightning crystals or something, so I'll need a lot more crystals, but not to mention I need the attack to my baby. I've been using power crystals to upgrade some of these, but I digress. We spent seven minutes of me looking at my inventory, so it's about time we moved on. Also, um, the smiling fairy. Map? I didn't- I don't think I explained it when I was like- I was like, oh shit, we gotta go this way first instead. Um, but the reason I went for that one is because it's like the best grinding map and sometimes I just want to play the game at 2 in the morning without recording anything and just do the same level over again for like 3 hours, so. That's why I get Smiling Fairy because it's the best one to like grind. The experience is decent, all you have to do is beat Gemrons and fairies, and the fairies drop bread, so you can kind of just grind that into random. With whatever character you upgrade you can. Uh, why do we get more crystals? I kind of wish they were the hunter and the other ones, but. Oh well. And if I remember correctly, the end of this path is actually like a little. Ooh, holy crystals. Okay, why do you hold. Ah, oh, okay. I think for like half of the series of the universes. I don't know if any of them have the points for them just yet. You see that we have upgraded weapons. Balance value is a lot easier. I know I can use- it drops 30 cloth there. I know you can use cloth to get beast upgrades. Oh, magic crystals. Speak of the devil. Uh, it is the Gladius that you the most of right? It needs 15. Yeah, it needs 3 exactly. So let's see if I'm right about this. Put 3 in here. Gladius should now be able to turn into a Tooth Knife. Which should raise all its stats, which raises the attack to a point. That it can immediately build up into sand. No, it needs another flame. Well, I can get another flame, that's easy. I must have just missed her for some reason, flame didn't go up when it upgraded. Not a big deal. Sandbreaker. So, Sandbreaker is a fragile weapon. 
Um, that's what I have the icon there with the broken shield. And then you can see in the description, rare sword made from desert sand, easily broken though. So we're going to need attack, flame, lightning, exorcism. Uh, stats are going to be attack 50 and everything else at 45, which means, guess what? This needs a uh, holy weapon as well. Or holy crystals, just like basically everything else Monica wields. Um, but it doesn't need flame and lightning, which I have. And I have flame and abundance, so maybe we'll just give it two exorcism crystals now. I'll work on this just so we don't have a fragile piece of it. I don't know why I didn't use all three there. Oh, because I only have two sets of points. I am paying somewhat of attention to what I'm doing. Okay. I'm gonna use this and see just how fragile it is. It is pretty fragile, but it's not that bad. I mean, I was using like a Gladius against enemies in the fairy level a while ago. And Every hit was taken off. Like, shot. It still does fight for the Rams. I think Mimics are just incredibly stable. Oh, and these things drop bunch of crystals. Shit, I should be farming here. I really hope I get like a thousand bunch of crystals from this thing. The elephant also got kind of crystals. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, I'm doing real bad on this elephant. It's just here. Bread and use a bunch of bread stuff. Oh, okay, this is too much. Um, man, that's like shit to him. Oh, I'm gonna have to get another one of these. Oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking sweet. Oops. Uh, do we have another weapon we want to use on the arms? I don't think so. I think that one is missing. I think it's gonna be super overkill. Nice. Okay. Man, this sword does break pretty easy. Uh, okay, we need flame at 45, I think? No, 45. Uh, if I put 5 in, that's not gonna be enough, so. 5. Needs 45, which means I need one more for the next level. Uh, I'm going, I just want to have this way to get to that level. Do you want to Turns out they're in the next sense, though, which makes it a little less ideal for grinding, because that's another ideal for the fairy level is there's no mimic, so I don't have to like think. I can literally just turn my ring off and just grind. That's okay. Let me smash this, see if I can't get bread in there. Oh, that's okay. I don't need more bread, I just need to play better. If anything, I need more repair powder, so I need to deal with this antique sword. Fragile and both. I wonder if I put indestructible on it, if I that would overwrite it and fix it. I don't think it does. I don't think you're allowed to put indestructible on it. If I took like an indestructible coin and put it on, I think I wouldn't be allowed. Or it would do nothing. It might actually fix it though, because I know they're like opposing things. I didn't really try, I just. The boys just ran through it. Which I guess I'm not playing the center. There we go. And we see they drop red, which is great. Okay. 
that's not bad. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a problem. My weapon broke in the combat. That's not paying attention. Uh, let's use one of our antidotes up here somewhere. There it is, and I'll just take that right now. Okay, grab these two chests. One of them's probably not in the neck. There it is. And what, two mimics? It's already half dead. Oh, he's very wonderful. I came up to do with those chests. I mean, I want to do the all monster clear whenever possible, so I am like genuinely glad I came to that. Do I want to heal right away? Yeah, I'll just need to stick the powder right away. And then I'll go up the left side here instead of crossing over and coming back down. I'll just go down here, cross over, and come back up. Be a little more straightforward. Okay, let's deal with this elephant. Come on, hit it. There we go. Elephant's actually not so bad to take out, considering the sword is like super fragile and not amazingly strong. But uh, that, that goes okay. It's mostly this mimic shit that sucks. That is really cool, okay. I'm gonna just come on. Oh, fuck. Ah. Of course, uh, right after I say, I think at this point, Monica can do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I should probably give Max some kind of command item. And do I have like a bunch of yeah, let's just put them with those. That's gotta be like the last minute, right? This is gonna be uh yeah. Also, I think Oh no, I mean I can make the clan feed, I don't really want to. I need to the coffee. I feel like for some reason I need red paint. Maybe I just room in the bucket. I got a lot of red paint that is going on. This is not taking much time, so I can help. Yeah. And because I don't have Cedric, so I don't get the wrench point, I'm gonna switch to the icon. I'm gonna use the ride pod to take a little bit of the experience. Also, it's really cool to just roller skate around and watch themselves. gonna pop back out to Balance Valley so the Monica's here, and then I will come back in. Oh, damn it. Keep throwing it against walls when I know I shouldn't, because I know I lose items that way. 
Yeah, we'll pop back up to Alan's Island since Monica's fully healed. And then Neo will come right back in and save and we'll go do the next map. Save obviously in case I get game over, so I'll have to do everything again. Uh, also. Alright. Sorry I can't move. Save. Oh, yes, that's not. Little dragon catch attack. Oh, can we not use one of this? Well, I guess I'm gonna use the right pot then. Because I honestly really like shooting things with the right pods missiles. Let me see, oh, so until I kill anybody, can't switch them up. I want to switch the right pod, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah, four seconds. Four seconds out. That's so that's fine. Ooh, both like one. Uh, can I switch to Max? Heal him. Just because otherwise I'm gonna forget. So Max, and then I can only one of these cheesies. And I have five ride points for this. I'm not worried about like the skating out on the ride point forever. But I'm gonna try this category so it's less speedy. Nope. Oops. Oh, I can't toss the rocks. Oh well. Uh, I haven't been watching the ammo counter to see like how much the ammo decreases when I fire the missiles. I know it's super wasteful to just shoot like one thing with a little bit of missiles, right? It's almost dead anyway, but there's something about a huge salvo of missiles. Just makes me real happy inside. Let's not see me more. Geosome. Sea Dragon Crystal is not a minute. It's me. Very close. Probably a little bit of upgrade. Ooh, the holy one. I thought that wasn't a minute because I was trying not to open that fire. I guess I should probably heal the uh, pot arms a little bit. Uh, if I go down and do the heal, I think they're on Monica, so. I'm missing my arms. Alright. Excellent. Oh, maybe I should use the missiles. <laughs> I'm gonna run on a clear pad and really quickly if I do that. So let's switch back to the arms. And we'll switch back to the arms. Looks a little more. Adorable to have a little lady in the box. And... Oh god. I'm recording just tanks when I rotate the camera. And I think I can... I feel like people like... Pick those rocks or something, Steve, but maybe it's only with regular eyes. Not worried about my like gas, I bought fuel for gators. Like the beeping is annoying, I'll give you that, but I'd rather just continue onwards. And today drink it's fine. I think I've used two of these videos, so just me up. On the stock. And I think, yeah, there's one thing on there, so I gotta come down here. 
don't like beating it. I don't want to just waste a whole chunk of fuel. Because fuel is not cheap or easy to come by unless I do a, a huge grinding session. So like, if we get knocked out of the ride pod, you get knocked in the ride pod, I'll fuel up and get back in. It's not a big deal. Turns out now. I'd love to make the freaking clown body and use that, but right? it's in here that they're going to let me. I'm not giving me a hunk of copper, and I don't seem to want to give me a hunk of copper, so oh well. well. This basic bitch body that I was trying to walk in. Yeah, it's a little faster than me. Yeah, switch back to Max. Um, we feel the ride pond. And then we'll switch back to the ride pond. And then immediately lose like 30 points of fuel because I took damage. The flavor of its fuel being its HP is still a little weird, but. I guess I, I can accept it, it kind of works. What is this level called again? Oh yeah, I was thinking about little dragons, right? Big dragon outrage or some shit like that. It's just all gem rounds. You can just check dialogue for days if you use the gem on uh, transformation. Wonder. Hang on a sec, please. I have to do that. Okay. I also want to check. Monster notes. Got King of Night, got the Black Statue. Oh, I'm doing it with Left Trigger, that's my problem. Holy Gemma is weak to Scale and Wrench. Scale, Wrench, Lightning, Flame Scale. Okay, so they're all weak to Scale and the Wrench. Which means that, like, tuna weapon that I have is actually probably pretty effective against them. Um, I was just wondering, like, what this map would be the best place for grinding, and there you go. If you're grinding in Max's wrench, and you have a scale at all, you hit. You're probably set to go here. So the best place to be, probably, is, uh, this map on Mongo. I don't remember its name. Something about a little dragon. Or you just grind your iPod, please. It's sweet as hell, and I don't use it enough. I'll probably spend one day where I just go and grind monsters up a little bit and show them off. So I'm just using some of those. But I just, I, they're so terrible. I really wish they were better. But even when you get them to like their fully upgraded forms, they're just not as good as like even mid tier weapons that you can just make. Feel the ride for them. Skip our ride for them, skip the nets. Do something broken, so we're going to Monica. On this level, if we wanted to, Monica's not great against these. I hurt this rock, I'm not going to have to rest the rocks. Alright. Now, I think that's going to do it for today's episode, so thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you did, press like button, share your support. Helps a whole lot. If you want to see more from the channel, make sure you subscribe. Um, next time we'll go into that last map on this path, and then we'll have some other stuff we can do. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.